Melissa, more than 25 women have now come forward and accused comedian Bill Cosby of sexually assaulting or in some cases drugging and raping them. Cosby has never been charged criminally and denies any wrongdoing, but several civil suits have been filed against him. Here to help us examine this issue is managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Good afternoon. Hi, Ann. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. A federal court judge recently ruled that the court documents and transcripts from a 2005 lawsuit against Cosby could be made public. The question here, aren't all court proceedings public? Yeah, you know, we have that Sixth Amendment, which kind of sets forth that you have a speedy trial and a very public trial, but there are exceptions if national security issues are involving children. But here we have a civil suit, and we're talking about a deposition, something that occurred in a lawyer's office, happens at our office every day, and historically those depositions or those transcripts are not public information. What led the judge in this case to decide the transcripts and court documents yeah. from 2005 should be unsealed? You know, I was surprised that, that he did, but ultimately they have full discretion to do so. And what the judge cited is, hey, we've got Bill Cosby who is kind of portraying himself as a moral beacon, right? And now the judge found that, that his, 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 his private life was anything but. They felt his private life was in such contrast to his public life, he felt that the public should know. And again, he just did a limited disclosure, but there's probably enough there that, that it kind of set some wheels in motion. And this is the latest uh, bit of the story, but the deposition transcript from 2005 that was made public mm. uh, has Cosby admitting to obtaining illegal drugs such as quaaludes yeah. to give to the women uh, he was allegedly trying to sleep with. So how does that admission change this case for Cosby? Yeah, you know, we have this, uh, you know, people have come out and said, hey, look, he did this to me and he looked dead in the camera and said, you're a liar. So these defamation of character cases surfaced and this is going to certainly bolster those cases. It's going to help those people who brought the cases. Again, criminally, I think the statute, limit, statute limitations has passed on virtually everything, probably everything, but the civil cases are going forward. We're going to hear a lot more about it. Paul, thank you very much thank you. for the information. Still much more to come.